YouTube. In this video, I will walk you through the Oxygen OS Open Beta 23 for OnePlus 3 or Open Beta 14 for OnePlus 3T. Here you can see this is the change log of the update and it is actually 85 MB in size. Regardless of the size, this update is comes with a lot of changes, a lot of useful changes, even improved battery. So let's go and check out that one. So first of all, it's the added shot on one plus watermark for the updated camera app. So if you go to camera application and then go to settings, so here you can find an option called shot on one plus watermark. So if you want to put watermark, you can go with that. And if you want to add your name down below, you can also toggle on that one. So this is a pretty cool feature for those who are interested in photography. So you can put watermark without using any other softwares. And the next one is the redesigned lift up display UI. So to see that one, you need to turn on the lift up display. So you go to display options and then you need to turn on the ambient display and there is a lift up display turned on. So once you lock, lock your screen and then keep your phone somewhere, when you take your phone on, so here you can see this is the updated lift up display. Next is now able to hide notification from apps locked by app locker. So previously it was not there. So they just improved the security of the app locker. So if you go to security fingerprint, you find this app locker option here. And then here you can see uh, all the application you can be added. For example, if you are adding the WhatsApp in the list and then uh, you can click on hide notification contents so any notification from the whatsapp will be hidden from here this is a highly recommended feature and then they also improved the stability of parallel apps and then they also improved phone dialer and ui improvements weather app improvements uh, there's nothing much to show there it's basically it looks same but they have improved a lot in the background and adjust default screen calibration so if you go to settings menu display so here we have the screen calibration and actually they they changed the, the default calibration to more like a one plus five kind of display smooth screen so it, it is feeling good for the eyes so you should try this one and next one is very important that is added e-warranty card so if you go to settings menu about phone you can find the option called warranty e-warranty card so if you click on that it will show your model and the ama number and as well as the warranty expiry date so this is a very useful information for a OnePlus user. So I highly recommend to update this, this version. Next one is very important security update. That is the updated Android security patch to August level. So that you can see from settings menu about phone. Uh, here is the Android security patch level at like August 1st. And then uh, they added the clock widget improvement, uh, like added new interface alarm calendar to set irregular alarms. So if you go to clock application, and then clicking on any alarm and then you will find this three dot here if you click on that one you can specifically choose whichever date you want whichever day you want so it's more like you, you will be having more control over the irregular alarms so that is also a really good update and then talking about the gallery the gallery app has been updated with a lot of uh, improvements on speed overall navigation speed has been improved so these are the changes while talking about this latest update and I highly recommend this one and talking about the Antutu benchmarking test this is the score I've got this and talking about the battery uh, I feel like there has been an improvement for the battery like I am getting extra 10 to 15 percent of battery improvement with this update so uh, I definitely recommend you to go ahead and check out this update so to get this update go to settings menu system updates and you can check for the update from here and if you don't get the update you can always go ahead and download opera vpn from play store and then you can connect to any region like canada region and then go ahead and check out the update again so you'll be able to get it so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching please subscribe for more